I'm Mari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City of Abilene. But first, let's talk some money real quick. Abilene City Council has passed the first reading of the 2023 fiscal year budget. It now goes to a second final reading and public hearing at the August 11th City Council meeting. If passed, the city tax rate will be lowered to point 7621 cents per $100 valuation on property. So that translates into a $762 tax bill for a $100,000 home. An Abilene Police Department impound auction is underway now through August 5th. You can check out and bid on the vehicles available at ReneeBates.com. There's about 100 vehicles up for sale. There's been a lot of progress toward developing a new animal shelter for Abilene. The nonprofit group All Kind Animal Initiative is working in partnership with the city, securing land next to Cal Young Park. That's at 610 East South 11th for the new shelter, which will be called the Pet Adoption and Resource Center or PARC. Abilene City Council has now also authorized City Manager Robert Hanna to work with All Kind for that project and All Kind has up to three years to raise five and a half million dollars for the facility, while the city will contribute up to four million in funds and services. Also, don't forget to visit the existing shelter for your family's next furry friend. The shelter has been packed these last few weeks with animals needing a home. So going on throughout the month of August is NBC and Telemundo's Clear the Shelters campaign. Our local NBC affiliate KRBC has teamed up with the shelter to promote shelter adoptions all month. So give the shelter a call to find out the specials and services offered through August 31st for Clear the Shelters. Have you noticed the new look coming to Abilene Parks? Parks and Recreation crews have been working the last few months to update uh, park signs across the city. And as you can see, they are looking really nice. Crews will make their way across town over the coming months, eventually replacing signs at each park. And so uh, look out for that. Improvements at Maxwell Golf Course have received a green light. Two bridges over Cedar Creek, one at the number eight green, the other at the number nine green, will be replaced with high water crossings. Unlike the existing bridges, the high water bridges will carry golfers over the creek and improve water flow down the creek as well when it does eventually rain again. Also coming to Maxwell, guardrail repair at the number 10 green, number 10 T, and the number 13 green crossing. Registration is now open for Parks and Recreation's after school program. Students ages 6 to 13 can attend at any of the four recreation centers. Those programs run 3 to 6 p.m. at Chavez, Cobb, Daniels, and Rose Rec Centers with transportation provided by AISD from Ortiz, Purcell, Craig, Thomas, Taylor, Austin, and Bowie campuses. The cost is just $15 a week, and that fee is waived for kids on the free and reduced lunch program. So enroll your kids at abilenetx.gov slash sign up. Abilene Water Utilities would like to share information on a change in color that some water customers may be seeing in their water supply. The change in color is due to higher than normal levels of iron and manganese. That's coming from two of our water supply lakes, Hubbard Creek and Fort Phantom Hill Reservoir. So uh, these levels are, and the change in color is completely natural. Water Utilities assures customers that water has gone through full testing and is safe to consume. It's recommended you do flush your line for a few minutes uh, to clear out the color if you see that, but if that does not help, you can contact the Water Utility 24-hour hotline. That number is 325-676-6000. The zoo's rock and roar is almost here. August 13th at the Abilene Zoo, you can see the band's Deep Blue Something and Sister Hazel. Gates open up at 6 with music starting at 7 p.m. Tickets are $36 or just 30 for zoo members, $10 for kids. Your rock and roar ticket includes admission to the entire zoo, unlimited train and carousel rides, and one giraffe feeding. A full brisket barbecue meal, including also beer, wine, and liquor are also available for purchase. Go to abilenezoo.org for more info and to buy your tickets. The City of Abilene would like to extend a big congratulations to its newest police officers and firefighters. APD held graduation and swearing-in ceremony for 12 police cadets, three lateral and three 911 telecommunicators. Also, five APD officers were promoted in rank. Over at Abilene Fire Department, seven previously certified firefighter EMTs were sworn in at AFD's newly completed training facility. 16 more cadets are working through the Fire Academy right now, set to graduate at the end of the year. So a big thank you from the city to everyone for their service to our community.
For the latest news and information straight from the city of Abilene, go to abilenetx.gov. Click on notify me to sign up for news straight to your inbox or phone.